Hi Steve, my name is Ashley Elson and I'm a senior at Baruch College in New York City. I hope it's okay that I'm doing a voice memo instead of a video. I just feel more comfortable um, doing it this way. I hope that's okay. Here's my story as to why I want to go to law school and practice law in the public interest. When I was growing up, my parents divorced and I lived in a very unstable household. I lived with my dad and my other sisters lived with my mom. Um, and just to give a bit of context, like my dad was verbally, emotionally, and sometimes physically abusive. And going through that for so many years, I got sick of it one day and I tried to run away. So by doing this, I thought that I could go to the family court in the Bronx and take out an order of protection against my dad and that he would leave me alone and that would be the end of it. Like, that was it. <laughs> but instead, ACS got involved since I was a minor and I was saying that I was being domestically abused. So ACS got involved and I actually ended up going to foster care for six months. So my plan to make my great escape actually backfired on me. <laughs> I spent six months in foster care and I spent months in and out of family court because of the order of protection. Um, it was a temporary order of protection, but I had, you know, I was going back and forth in, in family court and I had, I think, two or three lawyers assigned to my case. So my case was like being bounced around. Uh, I think like one, the first lawyer like got, got busy with something else and he was like, oh, someone else can have this case. Um, so I remember just being very inexperienced, obviously, with the law, with the legal system, with the court system. And I felt like I had no voice during that time. And that was one of the most frustrating things because obviously I didn't want to be in foster care and I felt like no one was listening to me as to why I shouldn't be in foster care and why I should be able to live with like a friend or something. But obviously I didn't know how things worked. <laughs> I didn't know that that was the law. <laughs> so again, I just felt like so voiceless and like my, my lawyer, I felt like he didn't understand me. Um, you know, I felt like everyone, everyone was just waiting for time to pass until I turned 18. Like, I felt like the judge was just waiting for time to expire. Like, she didn't want to make any decision on the order on the, on the orders of protection. Um, my lawyer was just, like, putting me on the back burner because he's like, oh, you're turning 18 anyways. Um, and so I spent six months uh, in a bed bug infested home with a roommate named Fendi. Her name was Fendi and she wore a red weave. <laughs> she braided her hair with red weave and the fan would blow all the weave hair onto my bed. So I'd come home from work and my bed was covered with, I'm sorry, I'm digressing, but <laughs> it's the trauma. <laughs> but basically, again, I felt so voiceless. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to do with my career, what I wanted to do with my life, like, I know I want to have a career that's fulfilling where I can help people. And I think the most important thing when you're working in a profession that you're helping people is that you're empathetic to their feelings and you're empathetic to what they are going through. And I think I will be able to do that because I have been through situations in my life that have been painful as well. And I want to be able to serve children, you know, be a child advocate or work in juvenile justice or help immigrants who come to this city or help business owners, small business owners in the Bronx where I live, which is the poorest county. You know, it's on the top 50 list of uh, by USA Today of like the poorest counties in the USA. So I think there's just so, so many issues, so many crossroads 
of issues in my community that I know I will be able to help and make a difference. And that's why I want to pursue public interest law because of where I come from, that experience that impulsed me to want to help others who feel voiceless in our legal system. I want to be able to defend them and help them. Thank you so much. I know this is over five minutes, but thank you so much <laughs> for listening. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.